Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Stephen. Welcome back to another video. Joss and Giovanni. Catch up. All right, now. Smash the like button, subscribe, and sorry, turn your notifications on. If you're in South Florida, or you know anybody in South Florida, uh, hit me on Instagram, at TPendale. Possibly to find love. Episode 5, my edition, is dropping this weekend if you want to be a participant. Got a couple questions for you, but let's get the ball rolling. All right? Let's get into it. Appreciate y'all rocking with me, and shout out to the people who still didn't smash the like button yet. I can tell y'all used to get in trouble in school and had a problem following directions. Let's get it! Whoa, 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 what are they doing, 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 what are they doing, 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 scrolling. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Damn, she's got them things out. Them things, dang it. Let me get out the way, let me get out the way, let me get out the way, yay. Dang, dang, y'all can see that outfit. Yikes, let me put me right here. I might want to see me anyway. I don't remember them right now. I ain't gonna hold you. It's been a lot of matches, so maybe we you know I appreciate the little recap clip y'all give us. Arlette, and we are here today with Josh and Jovene. Welcome, beautiful people. How we feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling okay. great. Okay. Oh, Josh, smiling. He happy and shit. Look at y'all looking at it. Look at y'all looking at it right there. Hey, welcome. Queen Sheree, on my on my phone now. Look how y'all looking at it right there. You know what I'm saying? He already feeling that right there. I like. I love that for. I love that for him. That's what's up, broski. Beautiful people, how we feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling okay, great. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Nice. Mm. So we did have you all on. God, what episode was that? Sixteen. Sixteen. We had you guys on episode sixteen, where you ended up matching. Can we get a recap? Okay. So is it a yes for you? For oh, okay. Her? Yeah, just has hair, hair down. Okay. All right. It's I remember now. Yes. Is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. We got a match. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll take this and you guys can go on up. <laughs> okay, so as we saw on the show, um, you know, it's always getting lots of views, people in the comments. Man, I'm showing you two Instagram pictures. What the hell? And no tag images. What you was hiding, fam? Where the rest of your IGs at? are always talking about some things that stand out to them. Um, one of the main things that stood out, Josh, <laughs> on your segment with Jovene was when you asked her a question. Um, I know, look, you're smirking. I feel like you know where I'm going with this. Um, your question was something about like sexuality or whatever it is. And at first she was like, can you elaborate? And then you kind of didn't finish elaborating. Oh, I remember them. Like, <laughs> Can you tell us like a little bit more detail what you were trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Um, like I was saying on the show, I feel like you know sexuality is definitely um, a very important aspect in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, if you don't have that sexual compatibility, then I think that's gonna actually make the relationship you know difficult. It's gonna be very difficult to continue. So he trying to say them um, sex drives match up. I got a homegirl that had the perfect guy. Had a he drove a wonderful car. Had a perfect job, and everything else was great. But she let him know that when they get in a relationship and when she's in a relationship, she has a, a high sex drive, and he act like he understood that. And you know what I'm saying that relationship ain't work out. I think they were doing it maybe once, maybe once every other week. And he was he was he was busy because of work. So you want these men to make a lot of money. You want these men to have nice cars. They have to work a lot. They have to work long hours. They want to advance in, in the workspace, especially being a black man in like corporate America. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really trying to show them that you got that dog and going above and beyond. And uh, a lot of times when you have problems going on at work, uh, that follows home into like just a sexual experience. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's after a long, hard day or whatever, stressed out because of work or you're not where you want to be at. Most men aren't like in the mood type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely, I, I feel like, you know, definitely a lot of exploration, but uh, within the... Both of, the both, both of their hair, and I'll let you two, but you know what I'm saying, both of, the, both of their hair, and his hair being natural, her hair being uh, protective style, um, y'all, everybody here is flourishing on this, on, this, uh, on this joint today. Good job, everyone. Finds of, like, my partner's sexual boundaries. Does that mm. make sense? Okay, okay. So... He explained it a lot more now. I'm pretty sure you guys maybe spoke about it later. We don't know yet. Pretty sure they did. But what right. made you kind of say like yes before he was able to like finish fully explaining what he yeah, meant? Yeah, she was ready. I felt like I know what he meant okay. to a certain extent as far as just being open um, to trying new things. Like he said, compatibility sexually is kind of important to a few people. I know that is one thing for me as well. So okay. um, 
I knew what he meant and just kind of man, saving that's ourselves. That's what I'm talking about, man. Nothing worse when you tell a girl you like something or what, 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 and she hit you with that. Ew, you like that? Oh, you into that? I had one girl tell me one time. No, she didn't tell me. We was on, on a podcast talking and she was like, oh, uh, I, don't, I don't do um, something. We was talking about something. I think I made a comment. I think, what's that boy's name? Uh, shit. Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy said in the podcast one time, he's like, oh, I'd like to get uh, I'd like to get eight too. I'd like to get eight out too. He said that and I thought that was comical and that came up on the podcast. She was like, uh-uh, I don't be doing that to none of the guys. I don't like when I'm when a, a guy even try to throw his legs back to put emphasis on that. And then she's like, I don't like that done to me. And then she was like, and then I don't even like going down and, and giving head. She said, we can talk, we're adults. And then she was like, most guys I date don't even like that for me. I was like, Damn, you sound so boring. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not trying to have my legs back. I call it helicopter legs. Ain't nobody trying to get bent over no crazy shit like that. But I'm just, I was just saying from the, the the perspective and aspect of her just like shutting down shit. Like, uh-uh, I don't do that. Uh-uh, I don't do that. Uh-uh, I ain't do that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. But I, you can do that to me, though. Uh, I was just like, man, this just sound boring as hell. But I've also had women say that they don't do certain stuff. And then when that right man come along... They would say they don't do certain stuff. They're sitting out into certain stuff. And when that right man comes along, or that man that got that money on, I seen him doing podcasts saying, oh, I do this for my man. I do that for my man. And I'm like, oh, you do do, yeah. Like, and I'm saying, I've seen it. Conversation for later. Okay. <laughs> um, I was like, you know what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> got it. And did the question like throw you off or anything? You seemed a little flustered afterwards, but I'm not sure if it was just. She well, was hot I wanted and ready. to know more of what he meant specifically, but I guess when he got to a point where he was mentioning um, vulnerability and just exploration, I just kind of was like, okay, we getting into some things. Yeah, that's got what it. it. That's what I took from it. So, okay, yeah. all right. Well, that's good. I'm glad y'all were able to understand each other. You know, us, yeah. in, the, us in the back end, we're just looking like, hmm, what's going on here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> guess that's why you guys were a match. Yeah. But um, yeah, so kind of to get into you guys matching. So, since you ended up matching, have you gone on a day? Have you guys hung out? Come on now. Yes. Oh. Yeah. We hang out quite often. Oh. Hey! Yeah. I love it. Okay. All right. How did the first date go? Uh, first date, I feel like it went well. Um, okay. To my knowledge, um, we, uh, I think we, we went and got sushi, I believe, the first mm. date. We went for drinks at Little Rituals. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. How do you get sushi? So many yeah, dates, he's making them up. Mixing no, them up. That was the second date. Yeah, so, second date. Okay. Yes. But oh. Blur the people out in the background. I see y'all doing work. We okay. went to go get drinks downtown at Little Rituals. Um, it was a nice rooftop bar, so Got it. nice okay. dim lights and vibes. And this was after filming, or was it the next day? Or um, we went that Wednesday. So what? It was like about three days after, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Romantic. Yeah. So how was the communication after you matched? Like up to the point of you guys going out to that first date? It was. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um so for me i feel like that's something i do struggle with in terms of communication so mm -hmm. like i'm very busy with like the work that i do so i'm like allocating a lot of my time with clients um so i think that me being mindful um with jovenet and um, i think that took some time so from the day i think the show was filmed on like a saturday you guys went on the date on a wednesday so you're saying it was the communication on your end that kind of pushed the date back to the wednesday or um so, yeah, uh, communicate. No, we we I set up a time for okay. Wednesday. Um, I believe that was on Wednesday because, um, I just was really busy. So mm. that's just the time that I had within what I had to do. So okay, yeah. If you want to hop in there. So yeah, we the night that we matched, mm -hmm. we exchanged numbers and we planned for Wednesday. Okay, so that was fine. That worked out with our schedules. Um, leading up to the date. We had communication. We've spoken on the phone on okay. FaceTime for about like an hour or so um, nice. before we met, or excuse me, before we went out. So I like our earrings. We had some communication, but very minimal, like he was saying. But just, I mean, yeah, like he said, we were filling each other out as far as like our schedule and getting to know each other. So, okay. but I mean, it was fine. Got so. it. <laughs> and so after that first date, um, you guys went out for sushi. You said the next date yeah. was sushi. Okay, who picked the sushi date? Um, I did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He texted me the next day and was like, 
you got plans tonight? I was like, oh. no, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Wednesday, and right after Thursday, yeah. you're out again. I That's what's up. Bad. Okay. I like it. Like, so I mean, like it. She wasn't that bad then. If you went if, right yeah, in there. Yeah, like I said, we just met each other, but mm-hmm. once once we got the vibes going, of course, I was like, yeah, let's good. see each other again. So okay. nice. So how's it going now? Like, have you guys? Drinks, sushi, y'all gotta what think. else? What's going on? Let me come over there. Um, right now, I Hold think on that too. personally... Man. Y'all got to think, too. Uh, so they went out there next Wednesday, shot the show Saturday. I think Saturday, Wednesdays is the day she drops the show. So they went out the day that the show dropped. Unless she, like, films a couple and, and spread them out like that. I know we had some you know, some bumps in the road, but okay. I feel like that's not something that we can't get over. Um, um so I think yeah we still it's part of growing you know learn learning process in a relationship it's like growing pain so um, I think that's where we're at right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk? What are these bumps that you guys are experiencing? Communication. Uh, it's still yeah. happening. It's communication mainly okay. more so. Um, Damn, I try really? to be as vocal as I can about what my needs are mm-hmm. in communication. Um, like Josh said, it's a work in progress for him. He did mention that that was something that he struggles with. And it's weird because it's not like he struggles to open up and share like stories from the past or what have you not. But I think when there's conflict involved or not even conflict, because I don't feel like we argue. We have a difference of opinions. Okay. And sometimes emotions can be involved with that, too. Mm. And I would say the way the time frame also of him going about just shutting down is what's been mainly more. God so damn, bitch. So. I see. And I a big ass be getting sensitive and shit. Just talk. Going in the room, pouting and slamming the doors and shit. I hate this house. Do you recall on the episode you guys were on? I think you asked how do they handle conflict and stuff like yeah. that. You did mention you you take your time mm-hmm. with like, you know, going at the issue, whatever it is. And I think now you're experiencing that. I did. Mm-hmm. And however, in the, I believe the lineup of me asking a characteristic trait, mm-hmm. um, that was something that he had mentioned may happen. Um, and I just was like, you know, of course, as long as you're able to communicate that with me, right. so that way I can know we're coming back to this or we're okay. Um, that was that bit that be was going on. Like very big for me. That so. bit be going AWOL. That boy be off the mat, off the grid. So okay. I just think that's where we need a little bit of work on is just him being able to communicate because sometimes it's just going to leave me in the Wondering. dark, yeah, in okay. the dark. So, and I'm, I'm, tr- we're both trying, but I'm trying also my best to be able to, kind of figure out what's going on, or you know. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. So, what, what do you feel stops you from like just letting her know anything? It sounds like. <laughs> hmm, that's a good question. Um, that's something I think I'm still trying to figure out. Okay. Right? So that's just gonna take some personal growth. Um, but mm. I think as long as um, Joanne allows me the um the patience, as long as she's patient with me, and wants to continue with the journey in terms of. Nah, that shit not gonna work, guys. You know they're not in a relationship yet, but he need to go talk to somebody, because he needs to talk to somebody like. I know y'all say, oh, go talk to the lady, like, and trying to be, like, gas like that or weaponize uh, therapy. But he needs to talk to someone to figure out the proper steps that he can use to be better and not make these same mistakes. A lot of times when you go to therapy or counseling or any of that kind of stuff, they'll, they'll send you home with homework, like, and, and stuff that'll help you with certain things you're having problems with. So not just, oh, just stick beside me as I get better and better and better. No, fam. You want to show me you're trying to get better? Go speak to someone that can help you try to get better. And you don't have to go talk to nobody in person. You can do this shit uh, via Zoom. You know, you can you can uh, Google free therapists or, like, different grants out there. It's different stuff that you could do. But just sticking by your side and hoping you get it together and not make the same mistakes and woo de woo you got to be better, man. At our big age, you know, you got to put your pride aside and say, hey, I can't fix this on my own. I might need more help than myself of like um allow me to evolve in mm-hmm. that aspect um i think things will i think it'll, it'll work out i think you think you I think, think no you both say look man I, I do this i work on this i'm like i know things will work out i know i can work on this and fix this and tackle this hurdle because this ain't the only thing wrong with you we're not perfect it's going to be it's going to be something else that you're going to work on but shit how long it's going to take before you not fix it but show initiative that you really mean business because you ain't been able to fix this all year, all these years your whole life. So, you know what I'm saying? You might need more help than that. You know, she. I hope that she would like to see it through. So, mm-hmm. 
What's his face? She about to get tired of your shit. What's his face? <laughs> she about, she's looking good, too. She looking good. She moisturized. Them things out. Hair done. Nails done. Did, your, your little retwist and smile ain't going to keep getting you by, my brother. Your little retwist and a smirk ain't going to keep getting you by, my brother. You better figure it out. It's her face. I mean, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, Josh knows. We've had multiple conversations just about, you know, I think one thing he asked me also in reverse was like, well, what is a characteristic about you? Mm -hmm. um, my patience, you know, because at the end Shit of gonna wait thin. the day, as long as the day gonna end. there has to be some type of compromise as far as like asking for that patience as well as mm -hmm. um, giving yeah, yeah. and trying as well. So I think that's sometimes where we can kind of hit like a bump in the road is my lack of patience sometimes okay. and him trying to come together to talk. I have had conversations with him, and I, I do sometimes hold him to a higher standard mm -hmm. um, with age and experience as well okay. um, to know how to communicate. Yeah. So I think that's sometimes where my patience can come from simply is just like, okay, I'm trying the best I can. Mm -hmm. I want to make a relationship work. He has experience in relationship. I've had maybe like a year okay. times frame with relationships you know so i want to be able to learn these things you know as far as communicating better with somebody and i feel like there's so much potential there it's just like come on you mm. know what i mean like okay so, so you feel like you're having to really pull information out of him is yeah that what it is? information or just him honestly i don't want to say caring but it's like what's up why are you quiet you know what I mean? so mm -hmm. sometimes it can be like that so i mean Okay. Yeah, I, I try my best to call, talk, and it's like, let's Damn. call the next day, or, you know, like, let's leave it alone for right now, and it's just like, all right. No, nah, that shit ain't, it's, it's ain't, yeah. ain't going to work, bro. To be honest with you, she want to know that you care. She want to feel liked, you know. It's almost like she's putting in more effort, and she's, she's not able to be herself because she's kind of doesn't want to do too much on her end, so she's trying to be like him. So she's dimming her own light. To kind of see what's up with him, this ain't gonna work. I and I, I and I'm 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 with her. I I love and I date and I uh, grow how how she is. I like to. You got. I want you to want to be up under me because I'm I'm gonna want to be up under you. I'm gonna sniff you. I'm gonna sniff. You see this little neck area right here. I'm just using her as as an example. I want to sniff your neck right there. Even if you ain't got no perfume on, I just want to smell like how you smell fresh and clean and. Rub your leg, hold your hands, give you a shoulder rub. You you want your feet rub? You don't like your feet rub? Uh, let me hold your hand. Shit, let me let me let me tickle you a little bit or something. Let's go for a walk. Uh, you know, let me give you a couple compliments. Let's crack some jokes and you know what I'm saying. Like he just looks reserved and quiet, and she looks like she ready to be my man, my man, my man. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what y'all think of the conversation. Yeah. So. Um for me, like I'm not gonna lie, I do struggle with time management. So okay. um, I do have God a lot of things it. going on right now. You struggle with communication and time management. God. You know, my second master's, I got I'm, I got clients, like I said, um, and it's just it's you know I'm just trying to balance it. So um, yeah, I think that's you know I think that I could I have I have it in me to. So she in the third place right now. Schools, school. I don't know if school first. I don't know if it's clients first. I don't know. She, she, she might be in fourth place. She's not even getting a medal. The Olympics just passed. You're not even getting a bronze right now, sweetheart. Um, I think I definitely do have it in me to, you know, get to that potential. Um, like I said, we ain't nothing worth trying to gas up or uh, uh, cheer on or give a grown man. Come on, you could do this. Show me a t Show me you like me. I don't know. Boy, as long as she. Um, is patient because I think that's something that I she's been she patient on as well. Um, she looking like, ah, boy, I'm about to be up out of here. And she been on this show, and she's here on this thing, looking like this. I know them DMs on them dudes in them DMs applying pressure, giving her that attention. Look at Arlette, that little Arlette be looking at y'all like y'all her children. <laughs> so, and maybe I do. <laughs> yeah, maybe that shit running thin. <laughs> and maybe I do. And then, so you mentioned like you have like a higher expectation of him because of age. What's the age difference again? How old are you, Josh? So I'm 39. 39. And I'm 28. 28. Okay. Oh, damn, she cooking you, bro. You bad. 
A 40-year-old talking about they got bad time management and bad communication together? Jeez. Okay, so that's good for you guys. Like, the age gap yeah. is not a problem. It's No, it's absolutely not a problem. Okay. I, 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 I like dating older men because realistically working out for me with men my age, um, it's... <sighs> I mean, we all are continuously growing and learning. Yeah. But sometimes I do really love dating older men because it comes knowledge, wisdom. So, I so all the women out there that look at men as dating 10 years younger, 15 years younger, whatever, y'all be like, you trying to date them women because you want to control them because they, they don't know their worth yet? Listen to this woman that's younger than him express why she's dating older men and why she likes to date older men. As in, she says that in plural. So she's an older men dater type of person. When these women right here at 28 become 38, and then their 38 year old counterparts, the men are dating 28 year old, that's when it's you just like younger women because you can control them. You just like younger women because they do what you say. You just like younger women because they're naive. No, this is a younger woman telling you why she likes. Older men. So that's okay. Let's not do that. Because we all know when we were in high school, guys, the, the, the good looking woman in high school, a lot of times were dating college guys, doing shit they weren't supposed to. Nick can't even come to prom. When we were in college, the baddies in college, the best looking ones got was dating grown ass men that that could pop bottles and get tables and have you in VIP and do all of that. We knew that was happening. So now when it's flipped, they be like, oh, you just like younger women. No, this is what the younger women, a lot of younger women like older men because they're more mature. But he, his communication is cheeks and his time management is cheeks. That's crazy with me because you're, you're about to get your second degree. So your time management and communication has to be somewhat good in the things that you're passionate about and that you want to be all in about. So, yeah, that's a little bit mind boggling to me. I guess with that, there are expectations. Mm -hmm. Um just you know, with past relationships, she's that expecting I would have you to be a grown kind of ass man and know how to communicate. Something along the way, as well you're 38. Especially when I'm trying to give him my all at my little age. So, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Josh. So, I think you want to say something. That being said, um, I think we had this talk, and I said that um, you know everyone has different strengths and weaknesses within their in their lives, and I know that you feel like that should be a strength, but um, yeah, I may be strong in other areas, but that may be my weakness. And you know, as long as you, like I said, allow me to you know, build up on that weakness and turn it into a strength, I think that um, the potential is there. Because I, I definitely want to make it work. And yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So where are we today? I know you guys, you said you want to make it work. Sounds like you also want to make it work. But she so getting impatient. a little thin. So where are we today? Like, if we leave here now, are you guys still talking? Or is it like, well... <laughs> you answer that. When's the last time we, we we spoke, I believe? Oh, shit. He ain't spoke to her in a minute. This boy's cooked. Thursday was the last time What's we today? spoke. What's today? Today is Sunday. Yes, okay. that's the longest he we've been cooked. without go speaking. Like he got cooked. Yeah. How in the hell do you go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days without speaking, though? That's crazy, even if you're busy. And I'm not even going to let uh, text messages count. Four days without speaking or FaceTiming with the technology that we have in today's day is nuts. Look at Arlette's face. She's about to let her fart out on the side by uh, like a little silent badilly joint, the SBD. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's four days. And she knows that. No, we should have went to we should have went out to a brunch or had a, a little bite to eat or breakfast or lunch before we came here. We should have came here together. Yes. Yeah. Why? What's going on? I'm still trying to honestly figure it out. I think that if I could get your perspective and then maybe because... She frustrated. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. She frustrated. And look look, look at that smirk on her face. Watch, watch her lips quiver. Watch this. Watch this. Because, yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. So what do you... What, <laughs> I miss nothing. What, what do you think happened? Be, see now she's not about to be truthful. She's she's sparing you, bro. She's sparing you so much. She she really likes you, and she's not throwing you under the bus. I respect that from her. We've, hmm. I feel like we've ran into conversation where we express 
certain doubt that we still may have with each other. Okay. Um, whether that be one or the other up and leaving or whether that be oh, you just, up and leave her? Um, the topic of family or kids. Sometimes we just have difference of opinion. Okay. And I believe we went out Wednesday. We had dinner this past Wednesday. We had dinner. Mm -hmm. um, it was okay, but also coming into that dinner, we were having a little bit of riffraff of a difference of an opinion. But the, of course, you said on the family and children thing. That... Yes, it was, and that conversation happened, I believe, Tuesday. So going into Wednesday, the mm -hmm. dinner date, we kind of had quiet in the day, I okay. would say. But we didn't allow that to stop us from having dinner. We had a great time. Thursday, I wanted to go over and just speak with him, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of fill out the vibes from the conversations that we've been having. Okay. Um, I brought some dinner over. I brought some wine that we both like to drink. And uh, I believe we were just honestly talking about, you know, who's going to get in the shower first, you know. Um, I went and I... Damn, she brought wine and dinner over. That mean you in the sugar walls. You knocking them ankles loose. Knock them ankles loose, baby! Who's going to get in the shower first? Fellas, always let uh, the woman get in the shower first. Let her get in there first. She take the longest after the shower prep. It's crazy. So after she got shot, she can do all that shit she need, and then you can get in the shower. You go in there first, and she do all that stuff. Afterwards, you should be laying there like a butt-naked ass turkey before Thanksgiving. Just just laying there. It look like a hot dog with no condiments on it. You know what I mean? Let her get in there first and do that. And I wouldn't even say, depending on the size of your shower, oh, y'all can get in together. But for some odd reason, women, especially black women, they love a shower to be steaming, burn your skin off hot. I do not know why. But if I get out the shower and my back and my skin is red, I, the water was too hot. You feel me? I don't know why they like that water that hot, but let her get in that bit first. I asked him to keep an eye out on my dog for me, like while I'm in the shower. He has a dog as well. Okay. So I just, and he has a boy dog. So I just want to be able to make sure that they're. And you have a girl dog. Yes, correct. Okay. And I just want to make sure that they're y'all safe, hunching. separate, and not. Hunching anything. on each other. Yeah, right. Yeah, y'all uh, yeah, should be the only ones in there hunching. If the dogs get hunching before y'all get hunching, it call it call it. It's a wrap. So, <laughs> um, when I asked him if he can keep an eye out on uh, my dog for me while I get in the shower, it was like, well, well, babe, you know, I want to enjoy my food. Like, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to relax and enjoy my food. Mm. And I guess it. Nigga, just put the dogs in separate rooms. A little frustrated from the um, lack of communication we've already been having throughout that week. And also, he mentions that he wants children, you know, sometime soon in the mm -hmm. future. So. Nah, nigga. If he can't communicate, and he can go, if he can go four days without talking to you, we're not ready to talk about no kids. So I just feel like if we want to have children sometime later in the future, if that's something that we're talking about, um, and I need you to watch the baby while I go in the shower when you're trying to enjoy your food. It's like, at what point do we have any type of compromise to help me out? You know, I don't, mm. I, marriage is always the goal. Yeah. You know, he still wants to be married and have children, but you don't want to be married and still a single parent doing things on your own. Fact. So it did frustrate me. Um, when I got out the shower, you know, he asked me like, yo, what's going on? You kind of saying things in the shower or whatever. I'm like, oh, she was in there talking shit. <laughs> she was in that bit freestyling and rapping like Issa Rae in the mirror. <laughs> if this, this, oh. this the end. Like, I'm just kind of like, <laughs> I'm like, can't watch my dog. Like, <laughs> I need to just shower. Yeah, like, you messing the whole mood and the vibes up. She's supposed to get out the shower ready. And uh, we get, I get out the shower, you know, he's like, babe, what's going on or whatever. I'm just like, you know, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating our communication, let alone like you want to watch the dog or right, excuse right. me, the lack thereof and just whatever. And he just, he looked and he just grabbed his towel and he went in the shower and he didn't say anything. And I just took my items and I just left. So, and we Bruh. haven't really spoken much since. So, um, Oh my God, bro. All she needed was a hug. A, hu a long hug and a kiss on the forehead. And say, I apologize. I could have did better with that. All I had to do was separate the dogs and I could have ate. It wasn't that serious. You right. And you let and you let her dip and didn't say, hey, where did you go? Oh well, she left. Hmm. Fellas, we cooked on this one. <laughs> this nigga cooking us. 
He cooking us. He got cooked. He cooking he us, bro. Cooked. He got cooked. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. He got cooked. Let's let's hear from Josh as well. Mm -hmm. There's so, nothing to hear from him. Yeah, so definitely, um, you know, at that moment in time, I, I take full accountability. Okay. Um, you know, my lack of consideration. You mm. know, at the time, I just had got in from work. I was tired. She brought food over. You know, I'm I'm not gonna lie. She uh, brought you the food, bro. I just ate it. Like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, what? Was what hungry. about me? <laughs> yeah, this boy diabolical, man. I was hungry. Forget the dog. Forget you. <laughs> I, I got a fork too. First. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but now that I look back and uh -huh. I can see how you know, the time spent coming to my place and mm -hmm. you know getting everything prepped. Yeah. Ready, um. I could see how much work she put into that. With the dog like, in her hand. Maybe I didn't like it, reciprocate that in the best way I could have. So okay. um, I, I'm, I apologize. I'm it's, a work in progress. <laughs> nah, fuck, fudge that. I'm out. This man get me heated. And um, yeah, so. <laughs> okay. So that happened Thursday. So I'm, since Thursday, she left. You got in the shower. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments so far, man. Work in progress it is. You didn't reach out to her from that point to like. Talk about this. Nothing? Nope. Nope. No. When I left, I didn't receive a text message. I didn't receive a call. Like, where are you at? Like, that what happened? Cooked. What's going on? Come back. Damn. Josh. Just me yeah. and my dog left. Damn. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm like, I think I said on the show, like, I'm the type of person that doesn't, like, I try not to uh, react. I try to respond. So okay. I, I felt like. All right, let me give some time. You know, they, they, it was heightened energy, heightened emotions. Let me mm. give some time for it to kind of like, you know. That's like, not time, bro. You don't even know why she left, where she went. Is she coming back? Come on, bro. Simmer down and then, you know, I could get back to okay. her. So, and I think that was, you know, I think it was it was okay time frame. I, maybe, I, you, <laughs> said, you know, I felt like that's. And, and it's worse too because he just said, I think that's an okay time frame. So that shows you he still doesn't get it. I could get back to okay. her. So, and I think that was, you know, I think it was it was okay time frame. I, maybe I, you say different, but you know, I felt like that's, well, that was my intentions. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I know everyone has their own time frame of like what they think is a good amount of time, of when it's okay for them to go and talk to someone. So I guess for you, it's well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three right. Days. It's Three just days. Commu it's just the communication, you <laughs> okay. know, aspect of it. Like I said. <laughs> Um, I think, like I said, there's potential, and it is just honestly the the in between communication mm. that is kind of where it's been a little bit difficult. Right. So you know, okay. Because I mean, when you guys are together, are you like opening up, and it's more so just like if the conflict comes up, it's a little more like you kind of don't really know how to handle that. Yeah. Mm. Wait, so you, you're asking me, um, am I opening up and during our interaction? Right, like, so is the communication, like, all around, like, where it's just, like, even if you're in person, you can't really, like, open up? Or is it more so, like, just, like, conflict-based? Like, if the conflict comes up, it's more so, like, mm. I'm going to give that mm. space. Yeah, that's a good question. I think definitely when it's conflict-based, based, um, I definitely shut down. Mm. Um, um, in terms of... Um, Opening up, I think that's a gradual process, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job in terms of like you getting to know who I am, maybe some of the experiences I've been through, and like what makes me me. So, um, it's mystery in it, and I think mystery is sex is 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 sexy as well. It keeps the it keeps the you know vibration high nah. too. So you grow know, up, man. Yeah, She's not selling like that a, shit. Um, <laughs> I'm like I'm like an onion. You just gotta keep peeling back peeling the layers, back. right? Yeah. So yeah, that's that. Okay. Meanwhile, she crying because she's peeling back lean layers. Between either one of you, um, I don't have anything negative, of course, to say. Josh is great, like he's mentioned. He does do a good job with opening up and communicating mm -hmm. um, in that aspect to get to know him. It is just when we have conflicts, so That's who knows? Really We're just gonna have to keep working towards yeah. our communication and just opening up with each other. And I mean, I I don't have any doubt that you know he'll get there as mm -hmm. far as his communication is concerned so oh i guess i wanted to ask have you seen improvement like from like you guys said you had a few other conflicts before this is it gradually like getting worse or no it... it's not gradually getting worse okay. um josh is the type of person Flat where he can hear something that i'm saying and he'll he'll listen he'll mm -hmm. do his best i can see 
him trying. Okay. Um, but it's definitely not getting gradually worse. Okay. No. That's, that, that's no, good. It's it's not ain't getting there, gradually no. better. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Any final thoughts on your end, Josh? Um, not Pray not for really, Josh. You know, I think that, you know, I appreciate you, you know, doing your hardest to be patient with me. and um, Man, y'all pray for Josh. Put, some, put a prayer emoji. Put some prayer hands in the, in the comments for Josh right now, man. That boy, that boy, come on, man. You know, still continue to go on this journey with me. And, um, but just to have the opportunity and experience to um at 38 fam experience you it's, it's 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 a pleasure and i appreciate the opportunity to get to know you so thank you yeah. well i'm really really hoping things work out between the two of you because it's just beautiful to see it's beautiful yes, <laughs> i agree yeah so you know i wish you both the best thank you and i'm gonna be keeping tabs you know if you yes. see my name pop up marching your story yeah don't, don't worry about it <laughs> i'm just keeping tabs <laughs> Yes. Okay. We appreciate well, you. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. And then, um, you know, just because people will be following you guys on your journey, whatever it may be, are there any upcoming projects that people can be on the lookout? No, I'm simple. I'm just in school right now, like okay. I said, to be a realtor here in Arizona and working, taking care of my Zoe and just <laughs> strengthening relationships all around. So, okay. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing. I think that that's, I'm just I'm simple as well. And I'm just, you know, continue. I feel like I'm probably just working on myself. So that's the upcoming project. Just okay. keep working on myself. So, yeah. And you think you said you're in a master's program as well? Yeah, I'm that? actually um, working on my second master's. And nice. then um, so I could be fully licensed in Arizona to, you know, to do therapy. So, um, okay. so that's where. They going to let you do therapy? Who going to do your therapy? That's what I'm working on. So. Okay, well, good luck to both of you with your real Thank you. And uh, it's almost like who's policing the police? Who's therapying the therapist? All that good stuff. So thank you, everyone at home, for tuning in. And thank you both for coming hey, in. Hey, we out of here, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications on. Hit the like button if you still have not. Check out episode one, two, three, four of My Pop the Balloon or Find Love Film episode five this weekend. If you know anybody in South Florida, any singles in South Florida, Orlando, Tampa, they got wheels that could drive down, want to be a part of uh, Pop the Balloon to Find Love, my edition, South Florida edition, let me know. Hit me up on uh, Instagram, DM me there, or uh, rtptpodcast at gmail.com. I'll be there as well. Uh, all that's on my story um, and on my Instagram, my latest Instagram post. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Click, you're still ain't clicking on none of the greatness on the screen because you listen to me talk, but this is your time. I'm going to give you some time to click on another video of mine. Here it goes. Why you ain't click yet?